Hey everybody, welcome back to another edition of Recreating John Frusciante's Tone. Today we're going to talk about the song Dosed off the By The Way album. First and foremost, Happy New Year everybody. I hope you all had an amazing time with friends, family over the holidays. I had a pretty crazy experience. I had to work and New Year's Eve was actually my last day on the job. I'm going to be starting a new job very shortly, but I have some time in between to make this video. And in that time, I reflected back on last year. And one of my main goals for 2023 was to hit 500 subscribers, which we did a day before New Year's Eve. Thank you guys so much. I'm glad you're all enjoying the videos. Whether I'm right or wrong with these tones, I appreciate your all support. And I take your feedback real seriously. Anyway, enough with that. Let's get into the video. I don't think the audio is that great. <laughs> Honestly, uh, I think I might be 50%, not even that, maybe 40% correct with the guitar tracks. Now, during most of the song, you hear four guitars, three are playing a rhythm section, and then you have the main lead guitar. I think I got pretty close to the main rhythm guitars on the left and right side. You have a nice chord progression on the left, and then you hear this like triplet rhythm part on the right side. And I don't know, I think I got maybe... 70% with those two tracks and then you hear another guitar playing a small rhythm section and I was having a lot of trouble trying to decipher how to go about it because it's a really twangy guitar so I obviously used my Fender Telecaster at first I was using way too much gain for that guitar part you know I tried boosting it with the MXR micro amp to push it forward into the mix but really it's actually a lower volume guitar part and you're just whacking the guitar with your strumming hand and you almost have to hit all the strings kind of like how John does for can't stop instead of plucking the strings individually he strums all the strings in the guitar but he mutes the strings so that they don't ring out but you still get that percussiveness and you kind of have to do that for that guitar part but I don't know something about my Telecaster I don't think I have the right pickups maybe I should look into a more vintage voiced if anybody out there watching this video has a Telecaster that has specific pickups in it to sound more like John Frusciante, give me your recommendations because I'm trying to look for that right now and any suggestions will help. And for the main guitar, it's kind of the same thing, like a more trebly, twangy guitar. It's got a heavy attack, but it sounded very thin on my end, so I had to boost it with an EQ pedal. I used the Boss GE7. These are my settings. And again, I did that because I think the pickup I have which is just the stock uh, made in Japan. What's it called? Like the TL62 pickup, which is weird because John's Telly is from the 60s. And I think I need to look into like a pickup that's voiced to be from the 60s. I don't know. But uh, the main reason why I wanted to do this song was because while I do have some time in between jobs, and when I came in this room last night, I thought to myself about how fortunate I am to be able to have a place like this where I can play guitar, through cranked martial heads, play as loud as I want without bugging anybody or being bugged. And I'm usually here by myself all the time. But I've had had some guests over. You know, I've had friends, family, other musicians come in just to check the space out because some people know what I like to do. And I've had some people come over, we hang out. I pretty much give them a tour of the room, right? I show them my amplifier shelf, my speaker cabs, my keyboard setup. I show them the guitars, obviously. But my favorite part of having a guest over is showing them my pedal collection, specifically my John Frusciante Stadium Arcadium pedal board. Now for non-guitar players like us, people don't really know what a guitar pedal is. They've obviously heard of like guitar effects, but they don't know where those effects come from. So when I have people over, I like to fire up my Marshall Major and the Jubilee and run the pedal board in those amplifiers. And I pretty much play right through it, right? I show them what distortion is, what fuzz pedals are, all the modulations, the reverbs, the delays. And I play a lot of Red Hot Chili Peppers stuff through the pedal board. That way I can feed it to them. Like, like it's just a charcuterie board of all things Red Hot Chili Peppers. But my favorite part of showing people the pedal board and their favorite part is when I show them the looper. This is the Line 6 DL4. It has a bunch of delay settings, and you can also save presets. This was on John Frusciante's main pedal board from the By The Way tour up until the Stadium Arcadium. I was actually really, really bummed out that he didn't include it in the Unlimited Love Return of the Dream Canteen tour. He's using the Boss Delight pedal, and it really bums me up because I really wanted to hear John play Don't Forget Me on this pedal. But anyway, when I have people over, I like to show them the looper, and the first thing I played through this thing is, of course, the song Dosed. 
and the reactions I get from people is they think I'm some sort of guitar hero. Like the second I lay down the rhythm parts are like, oh, okay, yeah, this is nice, whatever. And then I keep adding and adding the tracks from the song and then they, it blows their mind every time. I actually had a friend over and I played them Dosed through the Line 6 pedal and he thought that it was an original song that I made, but he liked it so much that he wanted me to post it on YouTube. And he was really busting my balls for not putting the song out earlier. And I had to show him that no, 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 it's me playing a cover of a Red Hot Chili Peppers song. And he's just like, oh. And I remember that and I figured, eh, why not make a video about it for you guys today. Now I have a clip of John Frusciante talking about the song Dosed and how it came about when they were recording the album, by the way. Let me jump to a Chili Pepper song for a second. I mean, a song like Dosed. Mm -hmm. I mean, I thought the intro on that and that and that stuff you're doing, the, it's like the rhythm thing and it's like... That, that was freaking great. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, where does that come from? Well, um... And how do you work? Because it's the two parts you're creating yourself. It's the, really the ballot, you know. Yeah, I mean, the, the, that song came from um, when everybody else was outside taking a break during the rehearsal. I was in there, um, and I, I had that loop, that Line 6 green loop pedal. Yeah. So I made a loop of one guitar part, and then I added to it another guitar part, and then I added another part, and then I added, in, and then I had those three guitar parts playing, and then I was playing over that, and then when everybody else came in, I had this beautiful loop going, and that, that was, that was what that is. On the, when we did it on the record, I played each guitar part as its own guitar part on right. the recording so we could spread it out in stereo right. and stuff. Although he did create the song through the line six, he played each guitar part one at a time, not through a looper, for the whole entirety of the song. Because if you were just to record it using the Line 6 pedal, it would all come out as a mono track and all the guitar parts would be panned in the same direction. Whereas if you recorded the guitar parts individually, you have more control of creating a more spatial environment for each track. And actually, I'm going to show you guys what that sounds like playing the song through the Line 6 looper versus the individually guitars that I recorded. Anyway, that's all I have for this week. I'm not sure when the next upload is going to be. And uh, I do want to mention that, like, I know that I'm posting up these videos on saying how to recreate John Frusciante's tone. And I know some of them aren't perfect, like Other Side, Californication, this one. But in the future, when I do get better and more confident with guitar playing, tracking, mixing, I will definitely revisit some of these songs because I'm not going to give up too easily when it comes to trying to find these tones. And I want to at least post something to show the progress I'm making so that you guys can follow along as well. Because if I'm to wait to make sure that everything's perfect, I'll probably never post anything. And that's not going to be a part for my New Year's resolution for this channel. So that being said, my name is Marcos. Thank you so much for watching the video, everybody. Hit the like button, subscribe, ring the bells to make sure you get notifications for when I post new videos. Feel free to post any comments, questions, concerns at the bottom of the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Happy New Year!